Hello Shakopee staff. Today we're going to be looking at how to use the multi-tiered system of supports flowchart within the Shakopee MTSS handbook. Once you're on this page, you can take a look and see that we have a flowchart to kind of walk through what we would typically do in order to support a student who might be struggling. This is going to be an overview of that flowchart. If you look at the top, we're starting with Tier 1. Tier 1 should be successful for 80% of our students. Tier 1 is what every student gets. Some of the things that Tier 1 would get as far as assessments would be the universal screener, grade level assessments, informal interventions as needed within the classroom, and then a social emotional learner, screener, and or rubric. Within Tier 1, you might notice that some students do struggle. If you notice that a student is struggling, you would identify those student concerns and then go to your PLC or grade level team to decide on and carry out further diagnostics. Right down here you'll see that there, we can research interventions and determine who would be involved in those interventions. Now, if you have a good intervention that you think will work or that you and your team think will work, go ahead to Tier 2 and implement that intervention. Good idea, as always, to make sure that you are documenting that intervention with data. An intervention isn't a true intervention unless there's data involved. Now, if the student results are showing the intervention is successful after six weeks or after a couple of months, then you get to decide should we continue with the intervention or has the student caught up with their peers and it's time to just stop the intervention but continue to monitor the student. That would be the cleanest route through our MTSS flowchart. Now, it doesn't always work out quite that way, so let's take a look at another possible situation. In Tier 1, we notice that a student is struggling. Talk to the PLC and grade level team to decide on and carry out those further diagnostics determine that student is struggling, so we're going to research interventions and determine who will be involved. In this case, we don't have a good intervention, so we're going to go this way. Because we couldn't find a good intervention, we're going to do one of two things. We're either going to consult with more colleagues, or we're going to go straight to an I-team referral and meeting. Now, even after consulting with other colleagues, you still might decide it would be a good idea to refer it to I-Team because we still aren't finding the interventions that we're looking for. Within that I-Team referral and meeting, we should be able to come up with an intervention that we think is best for the student. Once we've come up with that intervention, we're going to go into and actually implement that Tier 2 intervention and document it with data. If the student is successful, then again, we would look at these two choices of continuing or stopping the intervention. However, if the student is in a Tier 2 intervention and they are not showing results, that would say that, this, that the intervention has been successful. You have a couple of choices here. You can go back to your I-team to meet as a follow-up meeting and potentially go back and do another Tier 2 intervention or the team might decide it's time to go to a Tier 3 intervention, which would be a more intense intervention. The other option that you would have would be to consider a different Tier 2 intervention that might be more successful for the student, research it, and then go back through the same cycle that you had done before. Anytime, though, that you do go with a formal intervention, it's always a good idea to let your I-team facilitator know that you are doing that because they might have some helpful hints for you and also if you do end up having to go to an I-team meeting in the future or having to refer for I-team in the future it's always good to, for the I-team facilitator to already know what's been going on with that student so that you can get right to the best intervention for that student. Thank you and I hope this was helpful. As always, in partnership with our community, Shakopee Schools will educate lifelong learners to succeed in a diverse world.